Howdy y'all, this is Dartman from Dartman Fishing and today we are going to be experimenting with drone fishing. I fish a trophy bass lake that doesn't permit boating or wading or anything like that. And there are some gigantic bass in the middle of that lake. I've seen people with surf cast rods uh, throw out really far and catch some nine pounders. But as far as catching them from shore, I can only cast as far as I can cast without using a surf rod. And the people that use the surf cast, they use live bait. Uh, I think it is fishing, but it's just not sport fishing. And I like to sport fish and not use live bait. So I've come up with this as a possible solution to getting my line out deep. Uh, <clears throat> now, People have been drone fishing for years for salt water to get their line out pretty far. They use professional drones, they're not cheap. And I have a budget drone here. This is a Holy Stone uh, HS110W. And it's a budget drone, it's about a hundred bucks. But I think it can, it can haul my line out. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that right now and see what happens. The way this works is the drone will fly away with the line in this downrigger clip right here. When pressure is exerted on that clip, the line will fall out. So I'm going to keep my bail open and when I get it to where I want it to, I'm going to close the bail, the line will pull out. In theory, I should be able to hit one button and have this thing come back, but these cheaper drones they're real light and they don't have a lot of power to uh, to fight the uh, wind. So if I get a good gust of wind, this thing, it'll drop about two or three feet. So I need to get it at least five feet off the ground uh, so it doesn't dip down and crash. This could be pretty challenging. I've had a lot of trouble with this in the wind. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so we're all set up. Uh, this is going to be more challenging than I thought. The wind's picking up. But we're going to give it our best shot. Hopefully, I won't uh, get the line sucked into the blades, which is what happened. The wind pushed it. Let's give it a go. Alright, clip that and... We have a successful, successful launch. Having a little trouble with the wind. I think the wind pushed that, but it did work. Uh, the line got tight and it pulled off. I'm getting a little bit of a breeze here and this thing really is having trouble with that. And also I think the battery's a little low. From what I've experienced with this, you have about two shots to, uh, to get this thing out there and back. Uh, lasts about eight minutes. It's not a DJI or anything professional that'll last up to 30 minutes or anything. So the charge on this is probably a little low. But overall, it's pretty cool. You can see the wind is really, really knocking it around. And it's not a lot of wind either. Just a light breeze, really. So it's going to be tough to do this when there's a breeze. You want it to be pretty much dead 
dead calm. See if I can keep it, keep it going. You really have to fight the wind. Let's see if we can get it through a roll. Alright, still gotta learn how to do that. Yeah, we lost altitude. That may be because the battery is a little low and there's a lot of wind on this hill coming up. See if we can get it to do it again. Nope. Wind's pushing up. Ugh. I think that's about it for this thing. I think the charge is gone and it just doesn't have enough juice to fight the wind. But overall, the video shows that it is a viable form of getting your fishing line out in the middle of a lake or something. As long as you don't have a, a good breeze and you're fully charged, you should be able to get it out and get it back without any major problems. But I would definitely be careful if you're flying near bridges or trees or something like that. This, this could easily end up in one. Anyway, thanks for watching my video on drone fishing. Till next time.